A common question I get is, you know, where should I invest my money and my time? Should I buy single families? Should I buy multifamilies? And I would tell you that by all means, I think that it depends on your exit strategy, but multifamily is gonna be the best if you're looking for cash flow and security of that cash flow. People say, well, Glenn, you've got you know dozens and dozens of single families, and I do, and here's why. That's what we market for in our flipping business. We're marketing for single family homes to buy, flip, and sell, or to wholesale, or to renovate, or turn to short-term rentals. We have many different exit strategies for our single families. Because we market for single families, that's what we find. So it's just easier in our system, right, in our, in our ecosystem to just buy those and turn them into long-term rentals. However, I'll tell you this, in our short-term, in our, not short-term, in our rentals, our long-term rentals, if the house is vacant, there's no income. That's the difference between single family and multifamily. Multifamily properties, let's say you have three units, but you buy a three unit, and one of your tenants moves out. Well, you lose that income, but you still have two other tenants paying you rent. You probably have more than enough to cover the mortgage payment and the expenses. So you're not zero. It's gonna be very rare in a multifamily that you are 100% vacant, unless you're doing a terrible job managing that property, it's gonna be very rare that that's gonna happen. So in that situation, if you had to, let's say you bought a three unit and you wanted to fix it up, do what's called a value add, you wanted to make the property worth more money. Well, you don't have to have no money coming in to do that. You can actually do one unit as, a as somebody moves out, you keep the other two units occupied and paying rent, and then you fix that unit. Put a tenant in. When one of the other tenants, want, or maybe one of those new tenants wants to move into that property, right? Or one of those existing tenants wants to move into that property. You can move them over, fix the next one, move them over to the next one. You've got a lot of options. Where in a single family, if you move the tenant out, <clears throat> scratch, you're out of income. You have no more income coming in for that month. So we have a lot of single families the way we have found to turn single families into massive cash flow generators to turn a chunk of them, not all of them, but a chunk of them into short-term rentals. And that has really helped us to have cash flow on those properties a lot more than just a single family rental. So it really depends on your marketing, your exit strategy, where you're getting your properties from. If you want to go out and market and find properties that have cash flow and that build wealth, I recommend strongly getting into multi-units. Now, there are people that do, I have friends that do large multi-units. They, they buy two, three, 500 unit complexes. That is a different level because now you have to go out and raise money. Um, you have to do what's called syndication. In other words, you raise money for your down payment. The, own, the people that loan you money take part in the ownership of the property. And so it gets a lot more complicated. If you just want to own the properties yourselves and build something without having syndication and having lots of other partners that are taking part in the appreciation, by all means, go out there and get multi-units. It could be, listen, when you're financing with a bank, here's what you should know too. When you're financing with a bank, a single family or um, a residential loan can be, can be had for a single unit, a two unit, a three unit, or a four unit. Anything over four units, that goes to a commercial lending department. So if you follow us, you'll learn you wanna do commercial lending all the way through. It's gonna be better for you in the long term, just from a protection standpoint. But just understand that one to four units is considered residential in the loan market, and five and up is considered commercial. But either way, you can do it. A lot of money to be made out there in real estate investing. Just decide what you wanna do, put your nose down, and go to work, because that's how you're gonna hedge your bet against any inflation that's happening.